So, hello. This is Route 7, the road leading towards Aomori. And I just got some cardboard at, I just got some cardboard at the Family Mart right there. I have to write my sign. I have a goal today. It's um, Odate. Odate is still in Akita Prefecture according to Google Maps and uh, Odate is uh, 100 kilometers away from here. It's almost uh, 3.30. I have a cup of uh, coffee from Family Mart. It is, it says espresso, but it's just coffee. It's pretty good. I'm really surprised how good the, the convenience store coffee is. But enough about that. I am here to write a sign. And uh, where'd my markers go? Ah, so today, this morning, I did a live stream for those who support on Patreon and, and thank you for the questions. Uh, I slept last night in the park in, um, uh, near, in, uh, near Akita Station. I woke up this morning and I went to Oga. Oga is where the uh, Oga, Oga Hanto, Oga Peninsula. It's where the um, um, uh, Namahage monsters are. Uh, well, they look like this. A little scary, but uh, it was a really fun time. And when I arrived, I met, I met a guy from Tokyo. He was also alone, uh, just traveling around. His name was, um, I, I forget, Yoshi Taka? Taka Yoshi? Yoshi something. Very nice guy, and we rode bicycles around uh, Ogahanto for about two hours, and then I came back because I gotta get get on the road. So here's my sign. I'm gonna ride Odate, and then I'm gonna hitchhike this way. This town is uh, two stops away from Akita City, so people who have left the city are here. Oh boy. What a day, this is perfect weather. It's not cold at all. I'm very hot with the jacket, but I got no place else to put it. My luggage is too, way too heavy. So I've accumulated a lot of markers. And uh, uh, after Odate is, is um, Hirosaki. And Hirosaki is sort of my final final my first final goal it's the final stop in um, Honshu which is this massive island that I've been hitchhiking in for the last uh, two and a half weeks I think three weeks just about all right so we're going to Odate there's a place where the roads split though so I'm gonna put both on there now I'm using Google Maps a lot recently all right, here's a map of Japan. I'm here right now, okay? And you can see so uh, Hokkaido is not that far away. Everybody, let's see here. I started here, I'm going here. So, yeah, I'm about, 85% done. Woohoo! That's good. So I'm going to um, see here. Get off at uh, Noroshiro. You can see the road. The road kind of curves this way. You know what? I don't think anybody's going that way. I think everybody's going to Odate. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to ride Odate. Yeah. I don't think anyone's anyone who's going to the next town is... is yeah. Everybody who's going to Odate anyways is going through here. So I'm just going to ride Odate. If, if you're not sure, you can always write homen. Homen means uh, direction. So, odate homen. That's easy. I didn't sleep too well in the tent. 
I slept okay. I mean, it, it could have been better, but it was cold. Oh, that day. Oh, that's the city. That's where I want to go. And I'm going to try to spend the night in Odate. It seems like a nice place. I have, I have a surprise for you, actually. I have a surprise for you. Uh, when I get to Odate Station, I'm going to try to do something fun. Um, so I'm going to live stream again on, on Only in Japan Go. And I'm making a video for Only in Japan, Japan channel, maybe. Uh, but first, uh, I'm gonna just do these live streams for only in Japan Go. Okay. It's Odate. This one's not that hard to write. Odate Homen. O is easy. O is just, it means big. Osaka. Odate. Alright. Odate. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that day. Date is a little bit harder. So this is Date. The second one's a little bit harder. A little bit harder. Just take it slow. I'm not in a hurry. That's when you screw it up. I haven't messed up once yet on my signage. That's a good thing. Alright. This one goes all the way down. And then cross it over. So that's the first part of um, Odate, now the, the Date. So I gotta do one next to it. Here we go. Hand down. Odate. Here we go. Everybody knows what I'm writing there. Orate. Oh, there goes the train. That train goes once every like 90 minutes.
You can see the platform. That that's like that train doesn't come very often. All right. Oh, that day. Oh, brother. Oh, lordy. Oh, stop doing this. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, shut up. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, that day. Very, very nice. I think the O could be bigger. O is supposed to be big. You think? The last thing I'm gonna write is um, home ed, and that's just the direction. Just in case somebody's not going in that, in that direction, I'm gonna write home ed in case they're going somewhere else. Okay, <laughs> nice comment there, uh, Mela. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right. There's some creative people out there. I like that. Too big, maybe. One, two, three, four. And then just 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 for just to be uh, safe I'm gonna write Nihongo okay yeah that means Japanese Nihongo okay Nihongo
somebody said I should put the smile face back on, so that's for you. I do listen to people who give me good suggestions. And I've been taking a picture of the sign every time I uh, do it, so. Yeah, there you go. I took a picture of the sign. I'm putting that on Instagram. So if you want to take a look at it, at it later, go to Instagram. In, only in Japan TV on Instagram. That's where I am putting a lot of the travel photos on there. All right, close my bag. And get a move on. Oops. That sometimes happens. Again, when you hitchhike, don't bring too much luggage. Let's see. Okay. All right, thank you, Family March. Okay. to cross the street this road is really really busy I gotta find a place where traffic can pull in and pick me up there's a gasoline stand on the other side at Enios right there that might be the best option now, here come the people coming off of the train Oh, the train's still there. He's wearing a helmet. I don't see Japanese wearing helmets very often. The train's still there. That's interesting. I guess it's one line and that train waits there while the other train goes by. I really wanted to shave this morning too. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? All right. Anybody have any questions they wanna ask me I, while I drink my, my coffee? If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me and I'm gonna answer them and then I'm, I'm gonna go to that gas station and, and start hitching. All right, comment. He looks like he didn't bathe in a year. Thanks a lot. Hey John, how long does it take to get? How long does it take to grow a pedo mustache? Come on, Julian. Is life hard hitchhiking? It's not too bad. It's not easy, but uh, you know you're roughing it. You know, you're out here to um, find a ride and uh, meet people. So you have to look look not great, but good enough. It's about. 3.40, 3.35 and right now, p.m. My plans after I get back to Tokyo, maybe relax <laughs> and edit the DVD. I have to edit a lot of video. I'll probably be just at home editing for, for, two, for two straight weeks. Is coffee expensive in Japan? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. About the same, maybe? What inspired you this journey? That's a wow. Kaiser, that's a great question. I'm inspired to do this because in 2003 I did the same trip and I wanted to do it again. Uh, the reason why I'm still here is because what I did in 14 years ago, hitchhiking, and I wanted to share this experience with you and also do it again for me because um, it's been 14 years and I want to feel that same passion that I had when I, I did this trip the first time and I, I totally have. I, it's sort of put my life in another direction. Um, this trip you know it hasn't been so popular I've been whoa kid kids riding a bike right in front of the car well they are really angry Let's see the kids I don't think the kids are very smart in this town Damn. 
Um, so I'm, I was inspired to do this trip because I did it um, 14 years ago, and I want to I want to share the experience with you. That's a scary scolding. It is when you get. It, he didn't just go in front of the car once. He did. It, he did it again twice. So, and he wasn't wearing a helmet like that other kid. That other kid's a model citizen. Will you make a second question and answer video? Yeah. I'll do a question and answer video at the end. But uh, again, most of the stuff will be on only in Japan. I traveled to 71 different countries over the last 20 years. So I've already been to Australia like five times. I don't know. I might go back. I'd love to go back. Australia, yeah, I'll go back in the winter when it's summer there. I'm not traveling to North Korea, but a, a good friend of mine did a couple of times. And keep live streaming after you finish this journey. Yeah, on the Only in Japan channel, I will live stream. On the main channel, I won't. Will you go to Hakone? What's in Hakone? I mean, look, a lot of YouTubers now are doing the same crap over and over and over again. Not that it's crap, it's just, for me, you know, if it's been done a hundred times, I don't want to do it. I like to believe that I, I've been here long enough that I can find original ideas that every other YouTuber hasn't done. And uh, you got to be different. You have to be, um, you have to be original. You have to be original. And I'm, I'm out here looking for original stories and I found a ton of them. And that's what this channel is all about. It's not about uh, uh, copying what some other, so some, some um, person goes out to the suicide forest and makes a video in there and everyone asks me, go to the suicide forest. I'm not going to the suicide forest. That's idiotic. I'm not going to copy what somebody else did. Although I probably could do it better. <laughs> but I don't copy, I don't really copy other people. There's too many ideas to, to start doing what everyone else is doing. Will the DVD, DVD be available aside from Kickstarter? Yeah, but every, initially it'll be on Kickstarter, so I would buy it there, and maybe in a few months there'll be the DVD. Whatever's left over will be available outside of Kickstarter later on. I don't know what'll be left over. Where have you not visited in Japan? Uh, Yakushima and Kagoshima. Um, uh, there's a lot of the islands, but I've been now to every prefecture, I think twice. Yeah. I want to go also to Hokkaido, some of the far, far reaches of Hokkaido, the corner. Uh, w I work in Shell Petrol and want to know what the petrol price there is. Hold on a second. Um, high octane, 137 yen for a liter. And regular, regular gasoline is 120. Hold on a second. 127. 126 yen. Okay. That those are the gasoline prices. It's sort of expensive, and um, I guess that's diesel is 105 yen. Do you own Godzilla insurance? Uh, no. How old are you? None of your business. Do you have a 7-Eleven or Family Mart? 7-Eleven. Is Void Rush? Is I don't even know what that means. Besides your awesome private onsen. I thought you were going to show more of your private stay. Private stay? What do you mean? Like in my room and stuff? Buy the DVD. How was your hitchhiking trip? I'm sorry. I'm trying to go through this really quick. How was your hitchhiking trip different from the first one? Um, people, I think I mentioned this last time. People stopped more because they were curious last time. This time they're stopping more because they genuinely um, want to help me. I, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit different in that way. There weren't that many foreigners on TV, and, and it, it, there wasn't much, many foreigners exposed to, Jap Japanese weren't exposed to many foreigners, now they have been in a way. So it's, it's different in that sense. Um, what has scared you during your hitchhiking experience? Uh, I lost my drone in Iwakuni. Uh, go back to the last video on the Only in Japan channel uh, and find that story. That was scary. What is your favorite anime? Um, Chibi Mariko-chan. Is your last stop in Wakana? Yes. No. My last stop's Tokyo to go home. <laughs> but yeah, what can I? It's so much cheaper than the US. Um, the gasoline? Yeah. Hello from Seattle. Hello from, to hello from where the heck am I? Akita. Are you going to hold the sign up? Yes. In a second. What is your favorite place in Japan? Um, wherever I'm going next. <laughs> uh, maybe Hiroshima. Maybe... Um, this, this is way too many. Hiroshima is high on my list. What's your job besides YouTube? Um, I been doing a couple shows for NHK World as well as making video content for clients. 
I own my own business here in Japan. I own a company. Yakushima, yes. Do you understand Okinawan accent? Sometimes. Will the DVD be available in Europe? You order from Kickstarter and it's, it, it tells you where it'll be sent, worldwide or, uh, um, I think they're all worldwide. Hello, John from Spokane, Washington. Okay. Spokane, Washington. There's a guy, a basketball player from Gonzaga that, that was in Toyama. That's originally from Toyota, Ryo something. And he's from, he's playing for Gonzaga, which is in Washington. How did you get started in Japan? I just uh, got an airplane and was teaching English to children. Uh, good question. Thank you. Has anyone super sketchy looking after your ride and then you decline? No, nobody has. Uh, does that sign mean self-serve? Yeah, serifu. It says serifu. So self-serve. When will you hold the sign up? Like in one se in one minute. I gotta walk over there. The people that picked you up and offered you to let you stay at their house off-site? Yes. They're very nice. They might even be watching. You Have you ever been to Yakushima? No. Their private house? Yes. You are going to hitchhike to cross the sea as well? No. I'm taking the ferry. So do you like this trip more? Um, yeah, because I don't remember the last trip as well as I used to. Do people make mistake you as a hobo? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> what is it? No! Well, no! Are you going to feature the people you meet along the way on your DVD? Yes. Uh, how about Taiwan? A lot of old Japanese things. That sounds cool. I've been to Taiwan twice. I, a friend of mine who is a, like a, she's a, a blonde, she's sort of a celebrity in Taiwan named uh, Ann, Annie or Anna. She's Russian, blonde hair. She's on a lot of TV shows now. Used to work with her at NHK, now she's big in Taiwan. Smart move to go to Taiwan and not stay in Japanese, Japan because they have too many uh, blonde um, talents here. Do you ever have time to take for Tokyo 2020? Uh, no, I don't. I'm contracted by them, and the, when the directors want me to work for them, they'll call me, and I go and do a report with them. But to be honest with you, I got. If they call me, I'll I'll, I'll think about doing another episode. The the show is, is is a really good show. Uh, those people offer you, let's stay. What can I? Okay, I think we got enough questions. Thank you so much. Wow, there's a lot of questions. When do you think your trip will end? It ends when I reach Wakanai. I came here for holding up this. Toby, just wait a second. All right, I'm gonna throw this away. Here guys, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna hold up the sign, but I gotta throw this away. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Are you still there, Toby? Toby's been asking me. He came here only for seeing the sign. He didn't come here for a question and answer. So if you have more questions, blame Toby. Toby got angry at me and he told me to go and hitchhike now. It's Toby's fault. Toby did it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Poor Toby's getting it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toby. Toby, man, you, you look. 
Don't. All right, Toby is right though. I should. I should get on the road. All right, and then there is the the gasoline guy. Here's the gasoline stand, gasoline guy. There you go. Self serve. Yeah. They're laughing at me. They know I'm a YouTuber. So the, this is for the gasoline guy. Alright. Boy, Toby's more popular than I am. Alright, stop messaging Toby. I'm getting jealous. <laughs> oh, Toby. This is cool. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. I'm going to turn this around. The, the other way. See the car? That's the car wash. The car stays stationary. The car is stationary and it moves back and forth. And that's how they wash the car. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, they're done. Buy some gasoline for the people who pick you up. No, thank you. That's expensive. If they asked, you know what? If they asked me, I would pay. In fact, I often ask to treat the people who hitch my, uh, hitchhike. I ask them if I can treat them and they say no. And they get angry because they treat me like I'm their guest. And that's a good thing. Um, this is an underground walkway. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I think to the people who, who helped me, I'm going to send them a free copy of the DVD. I think that's a really good, um, a really good present, don't you? Because it was, this has been a part of uh, everybody. Everybody who's picked me up and taken me to this exact spot, it's, the reason I'm here is because of the people who picked me up. It's, a sim it's really that simple. All right. <clears throat> All right, sorry. It says here that the network's changed from 4G to Docomo 3G. So stop blaming Toby. Start blaming, uh, well, Toby's the one who told me to start hitchhiking. But don't blame Toby. Blame Docomo now because Docomo's connection is bad, it says. And it could be the YouTube app too because I've been having trouble with the YouTube app. This is awesome. This is so awesome. You guys can't see it because it's this bad connection, but there's a, there's a bus stop and that's perfect for people to pull in. This is, this is such, this is totally the place I'm gonna hitchhike from. Right there. Yes, this is awesome. Okay. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> so I got, thanks Toby for taking the heat off me, signed Donald Trump. <laughs> oh my, this is crazy. You guys are funny. All right. I'm here now. Okay. The connection is bad. I'm not sure what to do. Is the connection still bad? How's the connection now? Good? Okay. All right, Toby. You took some heat, brother, but this is for you. If I get, you know, picked up, I'm dedicating this ride to Toby. Where are you? 
typically before I hitchhike, I, I get the GH5 out and I take some pictures of the hitchhiking for the DVD. This is my tripod. This is the Manfrotto Live 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 Free tripod. Be free. And it folds up to such a compact size, but it's got a very good fluid uh, fluid head on it. So it works pretty well. Okay. So I gotta do I have to do these shots for the DVD. So just bear with me. Well, All of a sudden, it got super quiet. It's kind of eerie. I got uh, American Mikan. the DVD for part of it. I forgot to push the record button on the GH5. <laughs> oh darn. I was in Kumamoto, or sorry, when I was in Toyama or Kanazawa, the lady stopped when I was taking these one minute like uh, shots for the video. That was too fast. <laughs>
it's a warm up. I'm gonna record it um, also with this GoPro camera because everyone's saying um, they want a copy of this in DVD. <laughs> you guys still harp you guys still um, on Toby? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're recording live. I also have, I gotta be careful, keep an eye on this. I also have this Tascam um, recorder so I can record the audio separately, really close to my body. But I always forget to turn it off. That's the problem with this Tascam. All right, it's not recording. Audio is probably the most important thing with any video. If you don't have good audio, you don't have a good video. It's as simple as that. Someone's gonna stop any minute. It's hopefully not on a bicycle. The cars up ahead can see me holding a sign at the intersection, so it's good to be visible. Kid rode his bike, he stopped 50 meters away, and now he's watching me. You know the routine. They come in waves.
Our battery's at 20%, just so you know. See, people are driving slow, they're reading the sign. That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Another train's going by. Here they come. End of the wave. All right, traffic lights red. It's gonna turn green in three, two, one, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Come on, change, do it, do it now, do it right now, do it. Yes, it changed, it changed, let it come. Please stop.
whoa, there's a big wave coming right now, a very big wave. It's a big, big wave. I think there's a hundred cars backed up at the light now. Things are gonna start getting interesting now. stop but I think they're just shy. Maybe I should just jump in front of them. Alright, the speed's going on for another uh, couple of minutes. I'm not jumping, don't worry. I was just I was just joking. Really. I was just kidding. <laughs> I love this. I love this. down to 10% battery life. Sorry guys, it's gonna look, it looks like um, might not happen with you guys uh, on, the, on the broadcast, but uh, you never know. One more wave.
You try dancing with the cardboard sign. It's not as easy as you think. the end of the wave thanks for, thank you everybody for tuning in come back and leave me a comment on the feed okay come back and leave me a comment and I'll try to answer tonight thanks so much for joining me I'm sorry I can't show you with a happy a happy end of the story but I just got to keep on going uh, and, and uh, hopefully get that ride to Odate Check for Instagram. I'll sh if, if I make it to a date, check Instagram for pictures, okay? See everybody. Thanks for the good lucks. Matane.